everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's matchup features a very good rushing offense. The Bills lead the league in rushing TDs, and they'll go up against the Rams, who will need to be stout up front. All right, we appreciate it, Larry. It's our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Los Angeles Rams and the Buffalo Bills. This will be taken in at the one, and his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. First carry here for Todd Gurley. And he'll push forward for about four up to the 23. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Second down following the run. on the slam. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Let's go. Oh, a design run for their wideout, and that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Time running out here on the Detroit, play clock. Detroit! Right, now, lucky 56! Lucky 56! Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. shotgun he'll look to throw it's complete this is Todd Gurley and he'll get it up near the 35 right at the 34 here they'll give him eight on the play and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation
incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This is brought in at the 21. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, 7 on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a 1st and 10. to the 29. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. See if they stay on the ground for second down. carry heading left and some room to work and he'll be tackled at about the 35 give him six yards on the carry it's going to be third and three now we should mention to go along with a great game he had last week he was rightfully named afc offensive player of the week and he shares that with his offensive line the tight end his fullback he's looking for more and more of that in this game so they run it on second down now let's see what third down brings here for the offense There's Locke. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Relatively small sample size, but that's his longest run of the first quarter. Bounced it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually need some help. It's not just your pure speed getting to the corner, making sure that the blocking is taken care of inside so the pursuit doesn't get you. And oftentimes, those wide receivers, tight ends that might be flexed out, they've got to control the edge and make sure no one from the outside can spill the play before he gets there. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. On first down, it's long. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter about to get underway with the Bills in possession. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10.
And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Now a handoff looking right. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They wanted it every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. And not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. To throw on second down is locked. And his throw is incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. He yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. He's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. running back and running room hard to come by here he gets it down to the eight it's a gain of a couple and it'll be second in goal defensively pretty good start there with their backs against the wall that's a win for the stop troops right there and if i'm them i get a little bolder now they won the first battle keep coming after them put the pressure on them And to give this time to the tailback. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists. And if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Here's Luck. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody. But those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. It just drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Play clock winding Detroit. down. Detroit. Play clock down to zero. And this is not the way to start a drive. And that'll set them back five. Out 
out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Jadevian Clowney in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. Looking to throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Well, one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown him a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after him. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Take it at the 37. Terrific return. 30 yards all in all. And the Bills are going to take over in great position here for the first and 10. Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. And with the play clock at five, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And a great spot to start this drive from here. On first down, Law. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Buffalo after this. Six yards to go here on second down. From the gun, here's Love. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. Of course, he was solid last week. AFC Offensive Player of the Week award. Two touchdowns in that game. Yeah, he's playing at a level right now where he's just breaking down defenses. Makes me remember when I was playing, and my defensive back coach told me, listen, if you give up a touchdown pass, that's on me. I didn't coach you well enough. If you give up a second one, that's on you. And if there's a third one, I'm getting someone else in the game. <laughs> Luck on first down. Now a hit and Luck lost the football. It's out. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A great play there. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Bills will add on to their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and carry it into the second half. And 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Able to shake, but now he's swallowed up and taken down. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. So they will set up shop. Excellent field position in the red zone at the 19-yard line. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back on the field. And where the ball is now, you got the field goal pretty much in the bag. Now do you try for the end zone a couple of times? I don't think there's any question about it. You might get a gift of six points rather than the three that you just noted that you feel like you already have. Be aggressive, go after it, and try and get those points. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. And now here's a carry heading left. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills will extend their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. as it falls incomplete. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park with the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line.
Out come the Bills now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. So it'll be first down here after the run. And he'll give it here to his running back. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. On second down, here's Locke. Side here and it's complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. The Bills on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and four. From the 50, it's locked. And he couldn't corral it. It falls down incomplete, but maybe not a big deal given this big lead. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. <laughs> that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> Time to establish the run game here. Gurley. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Carry now for Gurley. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. throw and he delivers a strike complete to Watkins and they'll get him down here at the 23 they get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down
Now the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll try and throw for it here. And this is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A great play there. With touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Panic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well-organized, well-coached, and extremely confident in what they do. This fielded at the two. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Rams offense now. They get set and head back onto the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Ten yards still left on second down. The play clock's running down. Back to throw now on second and ten. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target. Third down here. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. The Rams on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Third down, he'll drop to throw. And he locates Walker, complete. And he's able to get it to the 33, good enough for a first down. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. like it could be holding. Let's find out.
possible run anticipation. Here's the D-line sandwiches together. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And Walker with it over the middle. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. First down. Finding room inside the 40. Going right side here, and that's complete. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. So the offense has it first and 10. down over the middle complete it's walker and he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter Second down, this is Gurley. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Only a gain of a yard there, but it indeed gets him a new set of downs. Fresh set of downs here. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Here we go now. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Joey Bosa in there to sack him. And that is 10 for him now on the year. sack of the year. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Time running out here on the play clock. He'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Cross, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. On is Josh Lambeau for the field goal try. This from 44 yards out, left hash. And Lambeau, he missed it. He missed it left. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, sent this one off target. On first and ten, Locke. 
That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Try the right side here. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Here's Luck now on second down. Now a hit and Luck lost the football. It's out. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Out of the gun, Luck over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. Luck going to throw it. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone <laughs> can stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. But it's not just their own confidence that is leading them. It's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think, we've got no shot to beat this team. Santos out now. He'll kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, yet. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Over, 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 over. Watch it now, Barney. Watch it now, Barney. Back in that Philly. Here we go. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. They'll look to throw here. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Joey Bosa in there to get him and that's sack number 12 for him on the year the Rams on third down just one for five to this point this is third and ten so the D-line's going to spread out they're going to look to throw trying to force it to his tight end Walker and it's intercepted Picked off around the 37. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. 
elsewhere. They're on to the fourth quarter at MetLife Stadium. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. If they hang on, that would up their win total to five on the season so far. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot, you are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go. And he jumped a little bit too early. Now a handoff looking right. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game, but what a nice play by the defense. Stepping up on that one, maybe they'll get things going in their direction after a play like that. Shift together here from the D-line. Yeah, the Rams are going to go ahead and take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here, and we'll be back. Try the right side here. Open space inside the 10. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So another score there. And often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching, and he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. On the NFL scoreboard there in the fourth quarter in Philadelphia. You saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Isaiah Crowell, two touchdowns on the ground to help lead the way. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Looking left side for Watkins and he's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Leopard! Leopard! All right, here we go. Boom! On first down, he'll drop to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. down he'll drop to throw it and he's going to be intercepted a third time picked off inside the 10 and I think the ball's out but it looked like a Rams player was able to get his hands on it yes so they will hold on to the football indeed well maybe it hasn't exactly been a Rembrandt but they've been mistake free to this point and finally cough it up I don't think it's gonna cost them the game they should be fine but, boy, they're going to hate that going back and watching tape and being able to say we were that close to achieving our goal of zero turnovers yeah, during the game. A little blemish, but as you say, still comfortably in command. Around the NFL, fourth quarter right now in Atlanta. And it was the Vikings able to take home the victory. Sam Bradford, a touchdown pass to help lead the way. 
flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. And that will write a finish to this ball game. And the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? So for Buffalo, they continue to cruise through this first half of the schedule as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Rams, they fall a game under the 500 mark at 3-4 through seven games. And they'll try and turn things around.